Today, I would like to talk about how I organize my 3D printer accessories using visual control and color coding. Also, I'll share with you some tips and tricks I use to simplify the workflow and make my process more efficient. Before, I spent an enormous amount of time searching for my tools. To find something in this mess, it's almost impossible, or it takes an enormous amount of time. Let's start with a simple statement. Each tool must have its own place. But where is this place? It is many different ways to define, but I'll explain what works for me best. My best way is, when I look at the place, it tells me right away what tool lives here. How to achieve it? The approach is straightforward. Draw the contour of the tool, and now we can see where each tool has to go. Is it bulletproof solution? Mm, not for me. I can easily misplace the tools. What should I do next? How I can improve? It has to be a place for the tool, not for the mistake. And this is the another solution that perfectly works for me. Pokayoke, also known as a mistake proofing. It's a visual signal that makes mistake clearly stand out. I make a tool place in the same shape as the tool itself. Then it's impossible to put a tool in a wrong place. Let me show how it works in real life for me. I use Kaizen form from the fast cap. I curved the foam in the tool's precise shape that only that particular tool can fit there. The wrench, tweezers, pliers, putty knives, everything has its own home. In this case, no other tool can fit in somebody's homes. Like tweezers can fit into the nice place and the vice versa. Even the two putty knives which have similar shapes cannot fit into the each other place. But what if I have a two similar pliers? What should we do now? How we can differentiate between those two? One way is to write the label for a place. Let's say plier A and plier B. But that doesn't solve the problem yet. We need to put the same label on the pliers. Now it works. The labeling is excellent but unfortunately it's not a bulletproof solution. We need to find the labels on the plier and what if we flip the pliers? The label is not visible anymore. Then we have to flip the pliers back. But that creates extra motion. So in this case we have to put the labels on the both sides. But the label can fade and be not visible anymore and it potentially leads us to the problem. Is it any other way? Yes, it is. Instead of words, we can use colors. The red pliers are red from all sides and the blue pliers are blue from all sides. What about the pliers place? Then we use the colors too. There is many different ways to color coding the tools. I use the GPS tape from FastCap. Let me show you the real life example. The sizes of these two wrenches are very close. I put the yellow and green color GPS tapes to those wrenches. And now I don't need even to think which one goes where. The diameter difference of these short nuts driver's heads is one millimeter. It would be very easy to misplace them. I use the same approach with these short nuts drivers. No more mistake would be possible. These two pliers are identical, but I use them for different purposes. So each of them has to go to their place. I used white and red GPS tape from FastCap to spot the pliers home in no time. But this is not only what I use this color coding for. It helps me to find the proper tool for the work. What nut driver size should I use for this printer nozzle? When I see the yellow marker on the nozzle label, I know I have to use the yellow nut driver or wrench. And I know it won't work for the green one. For the green nozzle I have to use the green nut driver. 
and I color coded all printer nozzles. That saved me time when I picked the right tool for the right job. Now I would like to show you how the proper tool home helps me to be more efficient. Look at this adjustable wrench home place. As you can see, the foam cut wider than it should be. And movable jaw is not in contact in the stationary jaw. Was it done by mistake? No. This size is the exact size of the printer hot end. I don't want to waste my time to adjust the wrench when I use it to support the printer hot end while I am replacing the nozzle. And when I put the wrench back, I adjust the space between jaws according to the shape in the Kaizen form. Next time I use it, I don't bother to remember the hot end size or adjust the wrench jaws back and forth. You may ask, what the big deal is? Big deal is I am focusing on the value. Printing things is the value, but not to change the nozzle or adjust the range jaws. As you can see, I use labels. I use them to write the nozzle material and what type of filament I have to this nozzle for. The steel nozzle is to print the wood PLA. The hardened steel nozzle is to print the nylon carbon fiber. The stainless steel to print the food safe products. And the copper and brass for the regular PLA and PETG material. And again, the nozzle home helps me to see if any nozzle is missing. A nozzle should be in this hole. As soon as it's only one hole, I'm not worried. The nozzle is in the printer. Two holes means a nozzle is missing. And now it's a time for the retrospective or remind ourselves what we learn. We learn new Japanese word pokayok means low cost or free visual signal that makes mistake to stand out. Each tool must have its own place where it can be found in no time. Each place visually tells what tool it is for. Use Pokayoki to prevent placing a tool to a wrong place. And the tool home shows when the tool is missing. <laughs>